All right, Deathlock for April 2024. I've been working on new uh, human faction enemies, but they're not actually human, they are robots. So, just gonna be showcasing them. So the robots that will are using the same skeleton base as the uh, utility robots because all of the robots that are currently in the demo and so far have been in the game are, they're basically just repurposed utility units that can fight, but these are actually going to be um, robots that are designed for combat. So they have additional, oh, he got me. So he has additional armor, a new headpiece, and of course a new paint job to indicate that these are military units and not the orange, uh, yeah, we have the orange engineering units and then we have also the blue creature, the golden like pets, how did you call like uh, handlers, like creature handlers that sort of try and stun you. So the new headpiece is pretty cool. It's like, it's roughly based off the, uh, some light inspiration from the super tactical droid from Star Wars. That's this like, kind of like hound-like uh, face with uh, a visor and then the glowing. Uh, I mean, like, so I have like this baseball cap, uh, what do you, what would you call it? Like, kind of like a protection for his uh, uh, visual sensors, which are glowing red. To make it abundantly clear that this guy wants to kill you. So yeah, this is the flamer. Not that interesting in, o in the open, because it's very easy to just avoid his flames. Obviously, I will be, uh, obviously I will be placing him in close quarters in level design, because, again, you can just so easily outrun him in the open. So a more dangerous enemy in the open, and I think in general is the Grenadier. It's going to be a very, yeah, I mean, <laughs> this fires a burst, and I do already know that I've made a mistake. He is not supposed to have the red uh, pauldrons armor. That red pauldron armor should only be on the flamer, so you can identify that's the flamer. So I have to fix that. That's always important to have like minor. Uh, things that allow you to easily tell what, which enemy you're fighting because obviously the way you have to have deal with this enemy is very different than the flamer. Uh, these things do a lot of damage like I can just let myself get hit by the splash. There, that it's 73 damage from like a close detonation and if you get directly hit it's 100 damage which means if you get hit by three directs you are guaranteed dead because uh, 300 Damage is the most you can take if you have like the heaviest armor. So yeah, that's the Grenadier. I'm, going, I'm not done yet. I also have a new type of uh, robot. I mean, it's still based on the same skeleton, but this one flies. So it has it has basically has a thruster pack. So this is the Rocketeer. And I mean, as the name suggests, it, fly, it has a rocket launcher. So just like the burst grenade launcher, it has like a burst... Uh, he does have the correct uh, shoulder pieces. He doesn't uh, have the rest shoulder pieces. So I don't know what I did wrong with the grenadier. So yeah. Uh, the fl is flight must. Oh, all right, there we go. His flight probably needs to be a bit of tweaking. He flies a bit too high right now, but that is not. Uh, that is an easy fix. Also, his um, what do you call it? His thrusters right now are a bit too much. Like the fire that comes out of it, it needs to be a bit more tuned down. It also should look a bit more like futuristic. A bit more futuristic because it doesn't really make that much sense right now to spew that much flame. He would basically be destroying everything he, he comes across. So yeah. So yeah. A rocket barrage of five missiles. They have relatively small uh, blast radius, but it's five. And he does try and track you. So yeah. And then lastly, I've made a new variant of the engineer. So there's the ground engineer, and then I've also made the Arbold engineer flyer. So it's based on the same attack pattern and same flying as the Rocketeer, but this one flyers its fires its energy balls, just like the normal engineer that is in in the demo. But this one flies. So yeah, it, it, it changes things up a bit. And that's really for the most part all I'm gonna talk about. Yeah, these devlogs are gonna get a lot shorter because again, I don't talk about the. Uh, I mean, I will try and avoid talking about and showcasing the levels because I do want that to remain like surprise, a surprise, I guess. But I will still showcase like enemies and uh, upgrades to 
the software. Like I, I did a lot of bug fixes, or a lot of bug fixes related to water have been fixed. Such as there was a really annoying bug where if you died in water, the water under effects uh, still kept, even after like quitting the game, the water effect still uh, remained. So that was uh, kind of annoying. So now there's basically a fix that when you reboot the game, it will double check if you are actually in water. But yeah, that's it. Um, I don't really know what's going to happen next uh, devlog. I was last devlog. I said I was going to work on roles. I actually don't know if I. I mean, I'm going to have to work on something other than levels in order to be able to showcase something in the devlog. But yeah, development is just going strong and it's uh, it's getting there.